Hi, my name is Carlotta Berry and I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering as well as robotics at Rose Holman Institute of Technology. My interest in STEM was born when I was in elementary and middle school and I really loved my math and science classes and I wanted to be a high school math teacher and then at some point in high school somebody turned me on to engineering and I thought I could satisfy both my loves by teaching engineering and so that's what I began to do. And the great thing about robotics, which is my focus in engineering, is that I am able to use it to teach multiple disciplines about engineering. I also use it for outreach, and I'm able to do research with my students that uses robotics as well. My educational career path took me from Nashville, Tennessee, to Atlanta, Georgia, where I went to Spelman College and Georgia Tech, and got a dual degree in mathematics as well as in electrical engineering. Then I went on to work as a controls and automation engineer for Ford Motor Company in Detroit Edison. And then after that, I got my PhD at Vanderbilt in electrical engineering with a focus on robotics. I also have a master's degree in engineering and controls that I got while working as an engineer. So in 2008, I co-founded Rosebud, which is Rose Building Undergraduate Diversity with Dr. Deborah Walter. And it's a program to encourage more women as well as marginalized and minoritized populations to earn degrees in electrical and computer engineering and computer science and software engineering. Those fields are probably some of the least populated with women as well as minoritized and marginalized populations. I think programs like Go Red, Go STEM are important because although it is possible to be what you cannot see, it's a whole lot easier to do it if you can see mentors and role models in the fields that you aspire to be in. And that's why I do the work that I do, not just through Rose Hummin and Rosebud, but through two uh, organizations, nonprofit organizations that I co-founded during the pandemic in 2020 called Black in Robotics and Black in Engineering. And in those programs, we also do outreach as well as educating the community about STEM equity and eliminating bias in STEM. And we also do outreach to communities so that young people can see role models in these fields that actually look like them. I think some of the benefits of building community among people of color as well as women in STEM is that support network is so important. It gives you that sense of belonging and self-efficacy to know that you can achieve and be successful in these fields. And that's why outreach work is just so important. And I just want to thank you for the opportunity to allow me to share a little bit about myself today.